I'm Paul Meyer with High Sierra Workshops. With the Sunny 16 basic daylight exposure rule, your subject has to be lit by sunlight in order for the exposure to be correct. However, as we all know, our subjects aren't always fully lit by the sun. Your subject could be in the shadows, or it could be cloudy or overcast outside. But one thing is still a constant, and that's the amount of light coming from the sun doesn't change. That's the beauty of the Sunny 16 rule. It's just what could be blocking that sunlight that we have to take into account. And just as the Sunny 16 rule is pretty easy, it's just as easy adjusting for the shadows or clouds. For starters, the Sunny 16 basic daylight exposure rule works quite simply by placing your aperture at f16 and then simply matching your shutter speed to your ISO number. For example, f16 with an ISO of 200, so your shutter speed is at 1 200th of a second. This works if your subject is lit by direct sun, allowing the shadows in the scene to fall as they will. But if your subject is in the shadows, or it's overcast, we need to compensate. If your subject is in the soft shadows, where sunlight is reflecting in, or it's hazy outside, you open up, letting in two stops of more light. To do this, you can use your ISO, aperture, or shutter speed. So for example, using our previous exposure of f16 at ISO 200 with a shutter speed of 1 200th of a second, we can let in more light by changing our shutter speed two stops to a 50th of a second. If you recall from our previous episode about shutter speeds, each full stop adjustment is either halving or doubling the number. We went from 1 200th to 1 100th half and then again to a 50th to achieve our two stops of compensation. If your subject is in open shade, meaning that there's still light surrounding the open shade subject area, or it's cloudy, bright light, then you compensate by opening up, letting in more light by three stops. If it's overcast or solid clouds outside, or your subject's in heavy shade, then you compensate by opening up, letting in more light by four stops. Note that with the exception of the Sunny 16 basic daylight exposure rule, all other exposures are approximate and could require slight adjustments based on the individual scene conditions. But the key here is that you're taking back control from the camera and truly setting the exposures you see and want for your scene. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you on the next episode of HSW TV. <laughs>